has changed her completely. We're keeping that in, everybody. I see it. What did Cell take up a drink and all left flat? So that's all that thumbnail. Let's just cut straight to it. We're gonna date. We are going to date the one and only Azazel. I probably am still saying that wrong, but we are gonna date the curious angel. The fact that she's the curious angel is gonna lead to very funny curiosities to be had here, isn't it? So yeah, anyway guys, you know the drill. Whoever you wanna see next, let me know in the comment section down below. We have her left, we have, of course, Lucifer, but we can only do that near the end. And we also have Panda Monica, so let me know out uh, of them lot. But yeah, that Jimmer Jabber, let's get into Azazel here, the curious angel. Let's do it. What notes will she be taking during our date with her? Let's find out. After a late night movie marathon with Modius, Lucy, and Judgment, you're dragging yourself to bed when you notice light streaming out from underneath Azazel's door? Wait, a big light? What is going on here? She is the heavenly bay. She is the one and only angel. What's going on here? Groggily, you knock on the, her door. knock a did not knock Yes, who is it? Azazel replies in such a chipper tone of voice that makes you question your own sanity and your watch. It is 3am after all. Azazel, you do realise how late it is, don't you? Oh! <laughs> Hiding around with the hero of demons has changed her completely. It really has. Look at her. This is not what she would be doing if she was up there, that's for sure. She would not be getting away with the stuff she's currently been getting away with. All of a sudden, the door swings open and you see Azazel standing before you. It's obvious she, she hasn't slept a wink, but the fact, but that fact doesn't seem to have phased her one bit. Oh, are you sure? Just with the way she's looking at us right now. Those eyeballs. Those bags. <laughs> yeah, are you completely sure she hasn't been phased one bit? Oh, hello there, Mr. Taker. Goodness me. Is it that late already? I should be getting to bed, shouldn't I? Okay, she ran me not tired no more. She's just there thinking and pondering her, pondering to herself. Looking absolutely adorable, by the way. Yes. Yes, you should. You peer into the room and notice that Azazel's desk is in even more disarray than usual. After looking at the chaos for a moment, you turn your attention back to the angel. What is it you've, you're always working on anyway? Huh? Oh, my physicist. Your physicist? Indeed, it is my theory that there is a way to classify everything in existence. Pardon? At first I thought just to focus on non-living things that are made of a physical matter, but then that raises a whole slew of questions about the quantification of life that I personally am not interested in answering. So I expanded it to include living things as well. Uh, then I started to think that maybe there is an argument to be made that I'm ignoring the fourth dimension entirely and I should try to include things that once existed as well as things that are yet to exist. Wait, so... And while I'm at it, I really shouldn't discriminate when it comes to things that exist only within heaven or hell. Uh, so, needn't I include things from all the realms? Well, I... I, uh, uh, I suppose so, yes. You take a moment to let the absolute onslaught of information sink in. So let me make sure I'm understanding you correctly. You aim to find a way to put everything. All living and non-living things that exist in the past, present and future from all realms of existence into a simple classification system. <laughs> yep. This is why you're awake at 3am. Yep. Uh. Alright then. How can I help? At this, Azazel looks at you, beaming with the radiance of a newborn star. In her excitement, she hugs you around the middle, nearly breaking her spine. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Taker. How about we make plans to head out to the museum tomorrow? As I, as I understand it, they just got a new exhibit. Why, with every girl, there's something new? With, um... Judgment, there was coincidentally the new butterfly thing. Uh, and yeah, now there's coincidentally a new exhibit in their museum. Okay, sure. Let's let those coincident coincidence be had. Why the heck not? Yes, I'd love to. Good. Now please get some sleep. Be a good little angel and go to bed. Fortunately, Azazel doesn't knock on your door the next day until the afternoon, giving you enough time to recover on all the sleep you lost the night before. Barely, you drag yourself out of bed and get ready to go to the museum. Once you're dressed, you answer the door. Ready? Yeah, let's go. Alright. 
Keys in hand, you and Azazel get in the car and start off for the city. It's a fair distance away, but Azazel fills much of that time regaling you on all the intimate details surrounding her thesis and the research she has done so far. <laughs> Just as the angel is about to launch into an explanation about the merits of quantum physics as it relates to exploration of the fourth dimension, you arrive at your destination. Beautiful, and here we are, the big city. I see it. As Azel is the first to get out of the car, she stares up at the building with wide eyes. Is this it? Is no one going to question her glowing ring above her head? I guess not. We've talked about that in the previous episode. So like no one's questioning the demon girls or, yeah, even the angel girl right now with horns and tails and glowing rings above their head. It is. Ready to go in. Ready doesn't even begin to cover it. Suddenly, Azazel loops her arm in yours and whisks you away to the front doors. All right. Whisk me away, my angelic bay. I'm fine. To cover, you step through the enormous doorway and into a massive entry hall with high ceilings and tall windows. <laughs> she's, all, she's always swearing it up when she's doing her research and taking notes. As Azel rendered practically speechless for a while, quickly falls into overstimulation as her eyes dart between all the exhibits within view. If you have no preference as to where we start, I say we head for the Pla Pleozoic section and start there. That way we can work our way to the present. I probably absolutely butchered that, but sure, let's continue here. We're keeping that in, everybody. Marisu the editor. Yes, that's me. We're Yay! keeping that in. I like the way you think, Mr. Taker. Together, the two of you head for the prehistoric exhibits. Having been here before, you know just how much of a maze this place can be. Okay, hell take her been to the museum a few times, like learning it up? Gathering all the info on history? Okay, not only a chunky boy physically, but maybe mentally too. He's got a big brain, big body and a big brain. All right, all right, I see, I see. It has exhibits upon exhibits all interwoven with one another so that there are many paths that one can take throughout. Someone who wants to follow the history of firearms to take a very different path throughout the museum. For someone who wishes to follow the path of the Sengoku J Jedi. Jedi? <laughs> I don't think it's Jedi like Star Wars Jedi. However, these two people will no doubt cross paths more than once on their own respective journeys. As for yourself, you think it's best to start at the chrono chronological beginning. Though you neglect the phrase, to phrase it this way, to Azazel, least you earn yourself a never lecture about time as a mortal construct and work your way up. Truthfully, the museum itself is so massive and so ever-expanding that you've nearly never actually seen all of the exhibits, though you have always wanted to. It's simply too large and too daunting a task. Alright. And saying that, we're still in the same room. When the heck are we gonna progress? But as you watch Azazel dash from one exhibit to the next, you can't help but feel content in the idea that you two will return here several more times over the coming weeks just to get through all of it. Okay, so it's gonna take a couple of trips, I see. This place is absolutely massive. All in all, it takes the two of two of you the better part of the afternoon and early evening to get through just the Pleozoic section. And by the end of it all, you're exhausted. What? Wait, what? But wait, guys. Editor Marisu is back with the actual CG we were actually meant to get during our date there with Azazel. And it looks absolutely fantastic. I'm guessing it was supposed to appear when she was just taking us from room to room, getting more curious and even more curious, wanted to see even more than she initially already saw. And yeah, she was getting all excited and getting all chirpy and just wanted to take in absolutely everything she could in the time frame they had. So again, this game is in beta, is in demo as of this video. So that's probably why the CG wasn't quite included yet. Maybe the art wasn't completely done, but yeah, as of this recording, I was able to find it on the actual Helltaker Second Circle Reddit page. So all links in the description. Absolutely fantastic art and it has now filled the void that my past self will continue to moan about. That was kind of short. We're not heading back already, are we? As you head back to the car, you can't help but notice an even more prominent bounce in Azazel's step. Did you enjoy yourself? More than you could ever realize. How about we do this again sometime? I'd like that a lot, Mr. Taker. Must you call me that? Would you prefer Mr. The Taker instead? <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, she's the only one who's actually really formal in name, actually. And that was it. That was super short. No CG, no nothing. Again, this is some kind of demo, guys. So there isn't CGs for every single character implemented in, yeah, this demo. So 
Sadly, we're not going to see the Azazel one. I'm guessing it would have been something to do with the museum, her taking notes, and Helltaker somewhere in the picture. Probably something like that. It would have been sweet. It would have been adorable, as usual, but... Sadly, yeah, we didn't officially see it here. But when the game gets updated, I'm sure we will definitely come back to these routes which didn't have these CGs. And, uh, yeah, check them out. Well, there we go, guys. That was Azazel. Regardless of the CG or not, and regardless of how kind of sore it was in comparison to some of the other dates with some of the other girls here. Yeah, so you know the draw. Let me know who you want to see for the next video. We are, like, really cutting it down now. We've only got... Uh, Z Zadadra left. However the heck you say it still, we have Pandemonica and of course, for last, we will definitely be checking out Lucifer. So basically it's Pandemonica versus girl that makes a lot of smoke from her mouth hole.